You're watching Central Illinois News Day on WMBD. And we're back in the kitchen on this Friday. We've got some peaches here. We've got chicken and lots of gorgeously yeah. color ingredients. And we're going to whip up some nice stuff today. Yeah, you know, if you one of my favorite vacation spots is like Eastern Tennessee, Gatlinburg, yeah. South Carolina, those areas. Known for a couple of things, their peaches, number one, they produce more peaches in Georgia, about three times actually. So really? they're really known for their peaches and their barbecue. Their barbecue sauce is a golden barbecue sauce. It's made with vinegar and mustard, a little bit different, not so much tomato base like ah. it is, like a Texas barbecue style. Mm -hmm. So it's really nice, they call it a golden barbecue sauce, which I love. So we're gonna make some chicken and some salsa to go with that. So we're gonna start off, I've just got chicken thighs. Now if you like to use chicken breast, whatever you like, I like to leave the skin on it. You can do it boneless or non-boneless if you like. I've got both, so I've got a skinless, and I actually bought these all with the bone in and just kind of boned them out, but you can buy them, you know, without all that stuff in them. So what you want to do is just lightly a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper on those, onto the grill, and then while those are cooking or before, you can go ahead and make the salsa. Now the salsa is very easy. I've used two different kinds of peaches. Now there's a clean stone and a free stone. All that means is the flesh releases easier from the seed. Oh, so I've okay. also got a white peach and a yellow peach. I'm going to start off with two cups. So I decided I'd use one cup of each, but you can use your favorite peach. It doesn't matter. Um, it's, it's, it's just up to you, whatever you like the best. And you want to get your peaches where they're firm, but they're very fragrant. The way to smell and, and judge a good fruit is to put it to your nose and smell it to make sure that it has a good fragrance mm -hmm. to it. And you want to make sure there's no soft spots to it. Right now, peaches are still just coming in, so they're a little bit underripe, which is not bad for salsa. To that, we're going to add sweet pepper. We've got red pepper, orange pepper, and some red onion. All that goes in in equal amounts of just a quarter cup. So this is really an easy recipe. To that, we're gonna add cilantro and some fresh garlic. I like about oh, two teaspoons of garlic. If you like more garlic, you can. The cilantro, about three quarters of a cup. Again, it's all based on how you like it. And then we've got some jalapeno. I like it a little bit spicy since we're gonna have a sweetness in this barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. The spice will help that out quite a bit. We're gonna add that to it. And then some fresh lime, salt and pepper. And really, that is all there is to this. Now, this recipe is great to make. It makes, uh, you know, a couple cups, but it keeps in the fridge for up to about five days. The Love acidity that. in the lime is nice too, and helps keep it fresh. But this goes great, just even with chips. You want to use it with chips mm -hmm. or something? I like it with chicken because it's just good on the grill, and I like the barbecue sauce. But mm -hmm. it's a real easy recipe to make. I like a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. So you kind of kind of savory sweet, you just mix that up and that's all there is to it. Perfect. I know I need to have more chicken in my diet at home. We're, ten, we're a red meat family, but this is a good way to do that. <laughs> it is good. Now, if you want to sweeten this up a little bit and the peaches aren't as sweet as you want, I've got some agave. Okay. I don't use sugar in it. I use agave. It's a little cleaner, a little lighter, but you'll just put in a couple of tablespoons of that. If you like, you can also add a little bit of olive oil to that as well. So Wonderful. Well, we will let this chicken finish off on our grill pan here. And we will come back for a taste test in just a few minutes. Chef Mark, thank you, as always. Sure.